Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wassalamu alaikum Wa alaikum Alhamdulillah Wa barakatuh Alhamdulillah Today we're going to talk about A broad subject And bring it down small First of all The Quran Is made up of 114 Suwar Suwar is the plural Of surah We say in English Surahs But actually the word should be Suwar Can you say that? Suwar That's the way for Plural of surah so there's 114 surah. And from those 114 surah, then there's ayat. That's the plural of ayah. And then each of those ayah are made up of what we call sentences or jumun. Right? And each one of those sentences is made up of letters, huruf. And each one of those letters has what we call harakat. What is that called? Harakat. A harakat is a e u. Now this is what is the smallest part of the Quran. So let's investigate where it came from. First, say ah. Ah. Don't you notice when you say ah, you open your mouth? No. So when the letter ah is called, or the sound ah is called fatha. Okay. Fatha. Which means to open. So it was originally an alif. And then they, they made it, let me make it large, an alif. Then when they wrote it, they wrote it as a, a, an angled alif. Okay? And so they called it Fetha because the chef said, when I open up my mouth, then write that as a line above it for it to be ah. So it became Fetha. He opened his mouth. Ah. Ah. Then he, there was the, the Kesra or the yeah. It originally was a yeah under it. But then the yeah over time became an angle. So we started erasing all this and it just became the angle cut under the line. And he said, when I go E, write a line under. And they call it Kesra because it breaks the line. Okay? No. So Kesra. Say that. Kesra. Kesra. E. 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 You see? E. A. E. A. E. So the A is Fetha because it opens your mouth. You open your mouth like a doorway. Okay? Your mouth goes up. A. A. And then E, it go, you put a line under because it breaks the line. They call it a Kesra. The third one is called oo. Say oo. Oo. And that was taken from a wow. So you can still see that it's a small wow written above the line. Say oo. Oo. And it's called bumma. Bumma. And it's called bumma because bumma means to hug or to bring together. And that's what you do when you lift. You say oo. Oo. You see what you did? You hug your lips together. And that's why we got the name fetha. Say it. Fetha. Kesra, Kesra, and Bumma. Bumma. Akulu kauli hada wa staffulali wa lakum wa salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salamu wa rahmatullah.